So it's been over a year since the speed limit on a number of Wisconsin highways. Some of the busiest, most popular yeah. ones was increased from 65 miles an hour to 70. Since then, there has been a significant increase in the number of car crashes and deaths on the state's highways. News 3 This Morning reporter Eden Chuckel joins us live from Windsor just off of I-1994 this morning with more on this. Good morning, Eden. Hi, Adam and Danica. Good morning. So since June of 2015, fatalities on Wisconsin interstates have increased by 37 percent. And the Wisconsin Department of Transportation says it's unclear if the increased uh, 70 mile per hour speed limit is the main reason behind this. Now, Wisconsin State Patrol officers say speed is a factor in many of these crashes. In fact, about 90 percent of motor vehicle crashes are said to be caused in part by human error. So we're talking about distracted driving, impaired driving, following other cars too closely, or just doing dangerous behaviors behind the wheel. Now, the economy and gas prices can also be contributing factors in crashes. There are a lot of things that change on a year-to-year -year basis. So if you talk about an economy that's improving, that has more people on the road, we know traffic uh, increases, and we know that's probably going to drive up crashes. Uh, same goes for gas prices. When gas prices go up and people choose not to drive, there's, you know, less traffic out there, generally less crashes. But when gas prices go back down, we see record travel and we can see upticks in crashes as well. Authorities are reminding drivers to follow the speed limit on the interstate and to sometimes drive below the speed limit when it snows, hails, or there's traffic. They also say this is the time of year for increased deer crashes and dwindling daylight, so drivers need to slow down. And while this study on interstate crashes, fatalities, and injuries is ongoing, authorities say that they choose not to hyper-focus on traffic data from month to month, and I'm going to explain why coming up at 6.30. Reporting in Windsor, Eden Chuckle. Back to you guys. I'm always terrified of those deer on the highway, especially late at night. No, thank thank you. you so much, Eden. Appreciate it. Speaking of driving, since June of 2015, drivers were allowed to accelerate on several Wisconsin interstate highways. That's because the speed limit went from 65 miles an hour to 70. So since then, the DOT says the number of crashes and fatalities here in Wisconsin has gone up pretty significantly as well. News 3 This Morning reporter Eden Chuckle is alongside the interstate this morning with more on this story. Good morning, Eden. Hi, Adam and Danica. Good morning. So according to the Wisconsin Department of Transportation, fatalities on every type of state roadway increased last year. We're talking about local roads, county and state highways, and interstates. But the uptick of crashes, injuries, and deaths on the interstate may surprise you. After June 2015, when many interstate highways were switched to 70 miles per hour, fatalities increased by 37%. Injuries rose by 11% and accidents went up by 12 percent. The Department of Transportation says it's unclear if the increased speed limit is the reason behind this. Authorities also say it's too early to come to a conclusion. Studies are ongoing and it usually takes about three to five years to see a pattern, which is why they choose not to hyper focus on traffic data from month to month. On a given year, we can have a month where we have uh, fewer fatalities than we've had since World War II. And the following month, we can set a record for, for fatalities. Nothing drastic may have changed, you know, from one month to the next. So we've learned that we really need to look in the longer term. According to the DOT, about 90% of motor vehicle crashes are caused, at least in part, by human error. So this could be, you know, distracted driving, impaired driving, or following other cars too closely. They also say with low gas prices and an improving economy, there are more vehicles on the road, which in turn can increase the number of crashes that we see. And authorities are also saying that posted speed limits uh, may be too fast for conditions. So if it's snowing, you know, if it's um, hailing out side, you might want to slow down. They're also saying that you're more likely to crash into deer this time of the year. So again, slow down, not just on interstates, but on every type of road. Back to you, Adam and Danica. We're getting to that season where there's going to be snow and you got to always warn people. All right, Eden Chuckle reporting live for us this morning off the interstate. Thank you, Eden.